On today's XT250 upgrade video, we're going to be looking at a skid plate made by Ricochet Off-Road Armor. It's made out of uh, aircraft grade aluminum and it comes with everything you need to mount the, the skid plate onto the bike. It utilizes four mounting positions to actually mount the skid plate onto the bike using factory bolts that are welded onto the frame. The kit comes with four T30 Torx head bolts along with a lock washer and fender washer for each bolt. And once again, I have the California model of the XT250, so I had to remove the carbon canister and the carbon canister cover in order to get the skid plate to actually fit. Removing the carbon canister cover and carbon canister is easy, you just have to remove the two bolts, slide the carbon canister cover down, and then pull the hose clamps and hoses off of the carbon canister. Assuming you don't have the California compliant model, all you have to do is use those four Torx head bolts and washers to mount the Ricochet off-road plate onto your bike. It attaches using four mounting locations that are already welded onto your frame uh, from the factory. But since we have the California model, we're about halfway done, we do have to modify and relocate that carbon canister and carbon canister cover. So I used a grease pencil to mark the locations that I had to cut uh, the carbon canister cover. And of course you have to use some artistic interpretation in order to figure out what lines to make the cuts at, but I just used kind of a general idea of how the cover fit on the bike with the skid plate installed. So my line, my cut line looks something like this. Of course yours is going to be different, but I just kind of eyeballed what I had to do. Using an air cutoff wheel, I went ahead and cut the carbon canister cover along the line that I had uh, drawn earlier. When you're happy with the fit and finish of, of what you have, go ahead and go ahead and pull off the hose clamps on the hoses that lead to the carburetor and the fuel tank. And feed them back through those frame loops. Since we are lifting the carbon canister up a couple inches, we will have to pull the bottom hose up um, about an inch or two so it'll still interface with the carbon canister correctly. Reinstalling the carbon canister is pretty easy, uh, assuming you've made your cut correctly. We will only be using the top bolt on the mounting system for the carbon canister since the bottom mount won't actually work anymore with the skid plate installed. Reinstalling the hoses is pretty easy, you just have to make sure you remember which one goes to the carburetor and which one goes to your fuel tank. Of course you will have to cut the excess off of one of the hoses using a sharp knife or a razor blade. Refeed the hose through the frame loops and reinstall the hoses back onto the carbon canister with their corresponding hose clamps and make sure everything fits tightly and securely. And at this point you should have a completely mounted ricochet off-road skid plate that's going to protect you against rocks and anything that might hurt your case. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and until next time, peace out.